Hello, everybody. This is your daily real estate practice exam question. So let's jump into this because there's several different variations of this question that pop up on the test. So I'm not going to say that this is a verified question on the test, but you, you will get a version of this in some manner, shape, or form. I know it for a 100% certainty. So let's talk about this question. It reads, evergreen bush and apple trees grown by an owner of the property are considered to be a real estate b personal property c chattels or d trade fixture so let's cross off trade fixture right off the bat okay um let's cross that off 100 right off the bat not trade fixtures because that has to do with a commercial space a business that um is owned and might have like pizza ovens or might have something like uh you know uh nail ba you know sink basins for a nail salon uh stuff like that so those would be considered trade fixtures those would be uh items that are personal property personal to the business and would not transfer with the real estate when a lease ends now next ones that we're looking at are personal property chattels so here's what we're going to do. A process of elimination, given the ones that we have here, chattel and personal property are synonyms for one another. So if we choose one, then the other must be right. So with that being said, neither could be right. Okay. The only way that that would be a possibility is if there was one that said all the options are true. But we know that the basically the opposite of personal property would be that of real property or real estate. Okay. Um, now here's why we're going to consider this real estate. And I want to go into this and the different variations that you might see on your test. So we have the legal test of a fixture. So a legal test of a fixture. So let's identify what a fixture is. A fixture is an item of personal property that has been converted into real property. Okay. Through attachment. Okay. So what happens is this, Maria is the acronym we use, that's method of attachment, adaptation of the item to the real estate, relationship of the parties annexing it to the property, intentions of the, pro per, uh, intentions of the parties annexing it to the property, and any agreement that might be uh, extraneous to the circumstances, such as if we, uh, if a buyer and a seller agree that it is real property, then it shall be real property. So situation is this. They are attached to the property. It is part of the property now. Okay. There is no unique relationship and there's no unique intentions that you could infer from this question that would make it personal property. So here's an example of something that might be they might fail that litmus test, that test of a fixture, okay, is if the item had some unique relationship to the owners, okay, so it, there you'll get the heirloom rosebush, heirloom rosebush is going to be personal property because it will fail the legal test of a fixture. So in order for it to become a fixture, and a fixture is personal property, converted into real property it must pass all of the legal tests method of attachment adaptation of the item to the parties relationship okay intentions so also we could say this the clear intentions of someone planting any kind of heirloom item would be that they bring it with them to the next property and agreement so ex you know outside of any kind of agreement okay then what happens is an heirloom item would not pass the R and the I test of a fixture. So here we don't have that. We have an evergreen bush and an apple tree. Those are both parts of the real estate. Um, as far as everything that you're given in this question, it's real estate. So guys, this was a great question. This was submitted through our Facebook groups. If you want to be a part of that group and you aren't already, please join down below with the links. And again, if you like what I'm doing, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'm going to see you guys real soon.